Hello, welcome back to Honest Liz. I'm Liz and today I've got a life saver for those moments when your curls are feeling weighed down by too much product. Trust me, we've all been there. You don't even have to shampoo. You just have to rinse your hair thoroughly to wash away any excess product and give your curls a clean slate. If you have thick hair like mine, don't style directly. Section your hair. I swear by using lightweight styling products, a good cream and a gel combo. These products won't weigh your curls down but will enhance your natural beauty. Start with a lightweight cream. You need only a tiniest amount. Remember to emulsify the cream in your palms. This ensures that you evenly distribute it through your damp hair. This will add moisture without the heaviness, giving your curls the hydration they crave without sacrificing volume. Even if you have a little bit cream left, emulsify it to get some more out of it. Now let's talk gel. Go for a lightweight non-crunchy gel that defines your curls without turning them into a helmet. Apply the gel by scrunching or using praying hands method. This will help your curls to form without the sticky residue. If you're going to section your hair, repeat the process for each section. Take a little bit of product for each section. But if you're not sectioning your hair, then you just have to go for it with the same amount of product. For me, I've made four sections in total. And by the time I came to the last section, which is the topmost hair, this top hair was dry. So I added more water to make sure that I am restyling on soaking wet hair. After applying the cream, I applied a little bit of gel for the front section, worked it through and then finger coiled the front area. This is the area that's most exposed for me. So if you have any unruly curls, grey curls or hair that's really stretched out, you could try finger coiling this area for extra definition. Once I've finished styling my hair, I take a little bit of more gel just to apply it all over my hair. I apply it from side to side. So I put my hair to one side and apply it on one side and then flip it on the other side and repeat. I like to use a combination of praying hands and in pulse and scrunch motion. Once I've finished styling my hair, it's time to dry. But wait, before starting the drying process, it's good to wet plop. This is plopping your hair in a plastic shower cap. I have to wash my face after styling. My hair gets a little bit crunchy when I style on soaking wet hair. So I take a little bit of oil. I'm using the Fix My Curls oil. And I'm going to smooth out the crunch. Doing this makes sure that my crunchy hair becomes softer. You can see how it becomes even bigger. It's not looking stringy or stiff anymore. It's becoming softer the more I do this. If you're going to do this, be careful not to scrunch or work with your hair too much or that can cause frizz. So you, with practice, you'll know when to stop. And these are my results with the Maintain Cream and Gel the lightweight products and there you have it soft bouncy curls that are free from product buildup remember less is often more when it comes to product application thank you for watching if you found this helpful subscribe for more and share your thoughts in the comments